Hello children. Good morning. Hope you all are fine and safe at home. Welcome to the online moral class. Today is Friday and this is story time. Before the story, let's close our eyes for prayer. Shall we pray? Yes. Close your eyes. Turn your hands, bow down your heads. Dear Father, we chat in heaven. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, for the love, care and protection. Please be with us. Bless all the children as they have gathered here to learn about you. Father, bless, we pray for the children, those who are unable to join us today. Help them, Lord, and bless them and give them the privilege to learn about you more. Bless all our parents in all the work they do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, the topic of our story today is The Lame Man Walks. The Lame Man Walks. Uh, two weeks before, we studied about a person who became dumb. He was not able to speak because he doubted God's word. And later, when the child was born and he named him John, he was able to speak. Can you remember who was that? Yes, that was Zacharias. He became dumb and he was unable to speak for some time. Later, he spoke. So today, we are going to learn about a person who was lame from the beginning, from his child, or uh, from his birth. And he was able to walk. How? We will see that in this story. Jesus had twelve disciples. He called the twelve disciples before going to heaven. Jesus went to heaven. Before going to heaven, he spoke to his disciples and he told them, to go to the all the parts of the world and tell them the love of God and the love of Jesus Christ. So the disciples, they decided to obey God to, because they loved God and they went around the world telling the word of God and Jesus loves everybody. So same way, uh, Peter and John, among those twelve, they were in Jerusalem. They went to G the temple in Jerusalem to pray. And as they went to the temple, on the entrance of the temple near the gate, there was a person sitting and asking for alms. Alms means A-L-M-S arms means asking for money or help or we say a begging like okay that word doesn't sound nice so he, they were asking for help and this man was sitting there he was lame from his birth and somebody had to carry him from home and make him sit in the temple to get money or to get some help and in the evening somebody has to take him home. So this they were doing it for a long time and on that particular day Peter and John came to the temple to worship and this lame man asked them to give him something. So Peter and John stood there, looked at his face and asked the man to look up towards them. So he looked at Peter and John's face. He expected something. He thought they would give him some money. But Peter said, I don't have gold or silver. Or I have nothing with me. So I have one precious thing. And that one I am going to give you. 
So what I have, I'm going to give you. So he said, he told him to look at them. He put his hand on him and made him to stand. He caught him by the right hand. He took him by the right hand and told him, in the name of Jesus Christ, I tell you, get up, rise up and walk. So this lame man, he felt something, uh, his feet and ankles becoming strong strength. So he slowly stood up and he felt strong in his uh, legs. So he was able to stand. He stood up and looked at them happily, looked around and he walked and he jumped and he was so happy, he ran around, he was jumping and leaping and uh, straight away he went into the temple along with Peter and uh, J John. When, they, when all three of them went into the temple, the people in the temple, they all Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. He asked for arms and held out his palms. And this is what Peter did say. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, rise up and walk, walking and leaping and praising God, walking and leaping and praising God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, rise up and walk. All looked at him with surprise, the great amazement, great surprise. They were all looking because they knew that this man was lame from his birth and he was sitting near the temple for many years and asking for arms. But how is that he could walk? So they were astonished and they came forward to see and they all were looking at Peter and John uh, because of healing him. So Peter came out of the temple and all the people came out of the temple and they gathered around Peter and Peter told them it is not because of us. We have nothing but in the name of Jesus Christ this lame was healed and now he is walking. The name of Jesus Christ has power. so. The Christ himself healed him and made him uh, strong and healthy to walk. And so uh, the same Jesus will give us and he will ask whatever we ask in his name, he will give us. So he was continuing to talk and preach. And at the time when he was preaching, the leaders of Jerusalem and uh, the leaders of the temple, they all came to him uh, and uh, told Peter and John that you should not stand here and talk about Jesus. So they told them not to preach. But Peter said, you itself decide by yourself. Is it good to obey God or man? And Peter said, it is always good to obey God because we love God and we are always, we always have the duty and the responsibility to speak to the people and tell them about God, about Jesus Christ and his love. So they went around, the disciples went all around the world and now uh, Thomas came to India, that is Chennai, and we all are here. And that is why we know about Christ and the word of God. And that's why we talk about him. 
So Paul also went around Asia for all his ministry throughout the world. The disciples went and they spread the love of God.